All right, so let's just start off side to side here, pointing to those those toes, taking advantage of the fact that we're working barefoot today. We're just gonna slowly build into this sneaky bar workout. So just taking a nice deep breath in, steady your feet here, take a deep breath in, bending those knees, take it down. Inhale, exhale, bend. Good, two more. And let it down one more time, deep breath. Take your arms right in line with your shoulders. Let's just take a little plie pulse. Good. So what I love about bar workouts is they're just such a nice way to cross train. They're a great complementary mix to your typical strength training. We're working more on muscular endurance and stamina. They can really help you build body awareness, alignment, control, and stamina, which you can take with you to your heavier weight training days. Let's pivot this knee in, take it side. Good little lunge. Arms come up and down, right outside of your ears. Two more. Take it back to the center pulse, turn it out, good. So our theme today is small details often make the biggest difference. Pivot and turn this way and lunge. Good, so I want you to remember that as we focus on making our movements as controlled as we possibly can, even if they're small, we make them strong. Step it back out, grand plie. Lift, just let those arms go. Up, a little bigger now. Nice. Take it back to that side to side toe tap. Stretch. Just opening out. Nice long line from toes to fingers. Very nice. From here, just go ahead and take your feet together. Give me a little plie pulse, what we call first position. So you're kind of making just a little small letter V here. Letting your knees open out over your toes. Good. Taking this leg out forward, just extend both legs. Pulse, lift. So I'm gonna press back through my arms, lift through my chest. Think about lengthening out through that front leg. Last four, three, two, that leg behind you, keep pulsing back, squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Lengthen and lift, tap the floor if you need it. Four, three, two, plie, pulse that first position. Getting ready to set it up on the other side, extend it out, and pulse, pulse. So I have a little bend in my standing leg here. Taking it back behind us. Hold and lengthen. Pulse it back in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's head over to our chair now. So we're just gonna use the back of our chair for a little balance work. Feet come back to a parallel stance. Toes are together. Just want you to bend your knees into that plate position, but we're parallel now. Keeping a nice straight line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Lifting the heels just slightly off the floor here. Shifting the weight, feeling a little bit more of the tops of the thighs, squeeze the inner thighs together. Good, so we're gonna get ready to start our first weighted set. Go ahead and pick up one of your light dumbbells, lower your heels, extend your legs. So we're gonna start with a nice deep hinged lunge. You can put that weight on top of the thigh, the leg that's working. So we're gonna come down and up, down and up. So I'm hinged at my hips. Nice straight line through the spine. Four more like this, then we're gonna add on with a shift forward and tap the length into that back toe. Two more here. Good, now take it down, shift forward, toe tap. So I'm gonna come up a little higher, shifting more into my standing leg at the top here. Four more like that, four. More, then we're going to add a nice long arabesque lift from that back leg like this. Down and lift. Down. Lift and squeeze. Hips are square to the floor. Try not to make it a kick, but really squeeze to lift that leg. Four. Up. Three. Up. Two. Now take this one and hold. Keep that hip hinge. Lengthen out through that back leg. Eight. Seven. A little higher. Six. Five. 
five, four, three, two. Now, nice long lunge. We're gonna slide that leg down, pull back with your opposite arm into a one arm row. Bend, squeeze up. So really reach that extended leg out long behind you. And I'm sending my elbow back in a diagonal here, getting into that upper back, chin to your chest. Nice long back of the neck here. Really feeling that standing leg now. Drive through those glutes. Four more like this. Last two. Hold it. Bend your elbow, extend as you curl that heel. So we got a kick back and a hamstring curl. Standing knee is bent, keep that hip hinge. Reach, extend and curl it in. Squeeze to the back of that arm. Curl through that leg, standing leg still on fire. You got this. Squeeze. You gotta think about it. It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach here. Take it up and hold it. Pulse it back for eight. Straight arms. Seven. Six. Toe goes to the ceiling. Four. Three. Two. One. Come on up. Turn your heels out. Just take that weight to the edge of the chair. Little plie pulse. We have a little turnout now. Back to that V position with the heels. Lift it up. Plie. Alternating. One arm coming overhead at a time. We lift and lower. So you have the option to stay here. You need a little balance assist. If you'd like, with or without the dumbbell, both arms can raise overhead. Keep that plie pulse. Stay long through your spine. If it's too much with the dumbbell, set it down. Or alternate those arms. Come back to parallel. Let's get ready to set all that up on the other side. So weighting that standing leg, getting ready. Just your hinge lunge in place first. Here we go. We come down and up. So check in with your alignment. Maybe that back foot needs to come a little closer or further out. Hinge at your hips. Four, three. Drive down to that standing heel. Two, getting ready to shift forward and add that toe tap. Here we go. Down. Shift and tap. Make it as big as you can. Shift forward. Nice neutral spine. Two more, then we add that arabesque lift. Ready? Here we go. Take it down, lengthen, lift. Down, lengthen, lift. Squeeze through the back glutes. Don't kick it, lift it. Four. the top. Let's go. Three, seven, six, five, four. Get ready for that long lunge and upper back rear row with that opposite arm. Take it down, pull back, down, pull back. Bend and extend that sitting leg. Keep your hip hinge strong the entire time. Send that elbow back in a diagonal. Pull with that upper back on your opposing side here. Let's go 
ahead and grab both of our dumbbells. We're gonna come center now. So you can go ahead and just take your feet back to that V position, plie pulse it. So we're gonna take the arms forward, taking a bicep curl, take one leg out in front of you, tap that toe, both legs are extended, turn your heel forward, up, up. So I'm gonna keep a little softness in my standing leg to help me balance. Keep tension in those biceps. Pull up through that top of that extended leg. Keep going. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now sweep that leg long behind you. Turn your palms up. We're gonna pulse back, squeezing the hands back and together. Lift that back leg. Keep that hip hinge. If you lose your balance, tap the floor. Keep going. Really squeeze the back side of that body nice and strong. Tap the floor if you need it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to step out to the side. Grand plie. Pulse one, two. Slide this heel in. Scoop under and up with the chest. Three. from inside your hip. So the leg stays extended. 
You're gonna turn your toes up, back to parallel. It's very small and subtle, works right inside of our hip. Standing knees bent, four, three, two, one. Take it up, pulse it. Just keep squeezing that turnout. External rotation from inside that hip. Four, three, two, one. Now, internally rotate. Bring that leg slightly in front of you. We're gonna send it back and up, pulsing. Lift, back it up. Squeeze those glutes. Turn the toes down to the floor. Think back and up. Good. Back and up. You got it. Keep squeezing. Hold and squeeze. Point that leg. Take your top arm out. Now we're going to take a crunch. Elbow bends into the knee. In and open. Get those obliques working here. Squeeze to the side. Stand on these knees bent. Now take it up and pulse it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn in towards, so the chest is parallel. Extend that leg back. We're gonna take our opposite arm, reaching under and open away from that back leg as big as you can. Under, you can bend that standing knee if you want a little more out of it. Hips are square, you're gonna rotate away from that back leg. and slow and controlled. Four. Just go to your own degree on that open. Three. Lift. Two more. One more time. We're just going to hold it at the top. Squeeze and hold for eight, seven, six. Keep expanding. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Take a second. We're just going to set up another side of my chair. Woo. Are you ready? Other side. Take a moment. Get set up. Lengthen that leg out. Flex through the heel. So remember, turning out the entire leg from the hip. Parallel external rotation. Subtle but strong. Might be harder on one side than the other. Totally normal. Two. One. Now hold and lift. Squeeze. Seven. Six. Four, three, two. Now turn the toes in slightly forward and back. Lift, lift. Turn the toes down, aim it up and back on a diagonal. Keep squeezing right here. Keep going, subtle but strong. Small details make a big difference. Can you squeeze deeper? Keep going. Squeeze, hold. Lengthen and point your toe. Side crunch, in. Lengthen out. Shorten the side of the body. Lengthen it back out. Standing knee is bent. Four. Three. Two. Take it in. Let's pulse. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Extend it back out. Turn and face the floor. Pivot that bottom foot. Back arm. Under, open out, nice and slow. Take it down, rotate away, down. So you can bend that standing knee as you reach under or not. Keep that back leg long. Four more. Squeeze and rotate. Three, work in the back side of the core muscles. one and then we're gonna hold it at the top. Eight, seven, keep lengthening, keep expanding. Four, three, two, ah, bring your feet together. Stand it up. So if you are using the chair, you can put your heels on the seat of it for this next one. If you're not using a chair, just a countertop, you can put your heels on the floor as well. I am gonna put my towel down because this mat is getting hot in the sun. So we're gonna lie on our backs put our heels on the seat of our chair here or on the floor like this. 
We're going to open those arms. Elbows are bent. You're going to hug your arms together as you lift your hips. I want you to also think about digging your heels in towards your body. So I want you to feel your hamstrings here. Glutes are helping. The hamstrings are pulling your heels in. Bend and hug those arms in. Like you're giving somebody a giant bear hug. Squeeze. Good. Really dig in. Four more. Two more. Now hold it. Lift your back leg. Your opposite arm is going to come down and up. So we keep going just one side at a time. Lift your other leg, other arm goes out and up. You got it. Four more. Last two. Nice. From here, lower the heels, lower the hips. Take a minute, you can just push the chair away from you now. And we're gonna take a series for the abdominals here. Your legs could be bent for a modification, or you can try this with them straight. The arms up with or without the dumbbells. We're just gonna lift through the shoulders and reach the arms up. Now we're gonna see if we can roll all the way up, reaching the arms straight up. Tuck that tailbone, slowly roll down. So again, if it's too much with the weights, just use your arms. If it's too challenging with your legs straight, bend your knees. Roll all the way up. You might want to hold on to the backs of your thighs to help you set all the way up. Really just work on controlling your own range of motion. Sit all the way up, roll through the spine. Digging the heels down. Last time, just like that, lift the shoulders. Roll all the way up. Now, just that serratus crunch, so we're lifting the shoulders off the floor, back down, tuck the chin to your chest. Brace the belly in nice and strong. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, if you are using the dumbbells, you can go ahead and set them down. Bend your knees, hands light on the back of the head. Now, once you just get your legs going first, we're gonna take a nice, Cool. Bicycle pedal with the legs. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Start to add your opposite shoulder coming across to that bending knee. Make it as big as you can. Keep going. Now we're gonna stay on this one side. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six. Five, reach that opposite leg out. Switch to the other side. Pulse. Four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and wrap yourself up. Let's come up to the hands and the knees. We're going to grab those dumbbells back again. Go ahead and stack them to give yourself a little more weight. We're going to focus in on the back here. Bottom hand is underneath the shoulder. We're going to row back. Pull the palm up. Draw your shoulder blade in and towards your spine. Focus on your back here. Nice neutral alignment from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Focus on your back pulling. You got this. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four more like this. Four. Three. Two. Now take it up, pull as far back as you can for eight, seven, six, five. Get behind that body. Four, three, two, one. Take a second to switch out your arms, switch out your weights. Ready? Don't sink into that bottom wrist. Push away from the floor. Pull it back. So I'm not letting my weights go all the way to the floor. Keep some resistance going the entire time. Nice, long, neutral spine, pull back, squeeze, shoulder 
shoulder blade wrapping in towards your spine. Oh, you got it. Four more like this. Four, focus on your back. Three. Two. Pulse back for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job. Set those weights to the side. Let's focus back in on the chest. We're going to take a mi nice modified push up here. So staying on your knees. Take your hands wider than shoulder width. Maybe a little extra rotation in the shoulders if that's feeling good to you. We're going to stay at the top of your push up. I just want you to bend and extend. And as you extend your arms, imagine you're trying to squeeze and slide your thumbs in and together. They're not actually going to move, but I want you to feel that imaginative energy sliding the thumbs in, squeeze. Push away. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to do one full push-up all the way down. Keep that tension nice and strong through the chest. Go ahead and lie all the way down, face down on the floor. We're gonna take the arms out, thumbs up. Lengthen off of the mat, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs, arms make a T, slowly come down. Exhale, two, up and down. Squeeze back in together and down. Keep the back of the neck long. Four more like this. Keep looking at the floor. Three, and lower. Two, and down one more time. Take your arms back. Keep lengthening and lifting. Reach up a little higher, pull your shoulder blades back. Flutter those legs. Try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Four, three, two, release. Let's turn back onto the back. We're going to take one more exercise for those abdominals. Hugging the knees into your chest. Just take a moment and breathe. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. We're going to extend the arms and legs out, making a V position. Now, you can make that V very small to start. Wrap it around, hug. When you're ready, go a little further out. What we want to watch for, so we're not overarching that low back, you want to keep this in the abdominals. Keep the pelvis as parallel to the floor as you can. Squeeze. Open. In one more time. Open it out. Hold it. Extend your legs back over your hips. Bring your hands back behind your head. Turning out from your hips. We're going to take the legs down for two. Make half a circle. Sweep out. Close them together over your hips. Down. Two. Circle. And squeeze. Inhale. Down. Exhale. Keep that control. If it's too much with your head up, your head can come back to the floor. Squeeze. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. Can you make each circle the same size? Detailed and controlled. Hold it, open it out so that V one more time. Just hold. Four, three, two. Hug your knees. Relax your head. Just take a moment. Taking one knee into your chest, let that other leg extend. Circle through your ankle. Take some deep breaths. Reverse direction of that circle. Ah, the hard work is over. Gently start to take that knee across your body if that feels comfortable to your back. You may want to take that top arm and open it out. Just reaching away from the knee. Take some deep breaths. Slowly turn back onto your back. Hug that knee in. Switch legs. Relax your head back, circling through that ankle. Reverse direction. 
take that knee across your chest, take some deep breaths. Open that arm out, looking away from that knee, that feels good. Come back onto the back. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Lift that bottom leg, hug it in. Two pulses, switch. So really think of lengthening that extended leg as far away from your body as you can, almost parallel to the floor. Last time. Hug the knees in, rock yourself up to seated. Let's just turn over to the hands and the knees. Rounding away from the floor, around the spine. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, round away. as generously as you need to. Walk your hands in towards your feet. Just hold it here, letting the crown of the head fall to the floor. Take a moment just to breathe, to be, to feel your body. Noticing how much energy and strength you created in the last 30 minutes. Hands on top of your thighs, support your spine as you stack it and roll up taller than you were before. Standing nice and tall, let's take it to the center. <sighs> take some deep breaths, shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, press it out. And I wanna say thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication with today's workout. Thank you so much. Remember, keep focusing on those small little details that can make a really big difference in your day, your workouts, and in your life. Thanks for your hard work, guys. I can't wait to join you again soon. And if you want more bar workouts and all kinds of workouts, I hope you join me for my All Access Pass membership. You can find out more about it. The link is below. It's called jessicasmith.fitness. I have over 2,400 hours of workout videos available in my membership site. I'd love to keep training with you and help you stay on your consistent fitness journey for a lifetime. Keep up all the great work. I can't wait to get moving with you again soon. Take care, everybody.